Well, the polls are closed over in the U.K., and, well, we'll know soon if they're going to stay or they're going to leave. And as we wait, uh, just moments ago, reportedly, the U.K. Independence Party leader saying, quote, it looks like Remain will have to edge or edge it out to Fox Business' Charlie Gasparino, who's live in London with the latest. Charlie. Uh, yeah, we are hearing some of the same stuff, and you know we're talking to some of the Leave people as well. Uh, Thomas Tice, uh, right, excuse me, Richard Tice, who's head of the Leave.eu, um, basically told us this. Uh, he said uh, this battle isn't over. If we should if we should lose, and he's not saying he's going to definitely lose, but it looks the polls look like he, the, you know, it's, it's in favor of Remain. Uh, we're going to keep uh, the feet to the fire for the Remain folks. We're going to essentially prod uh, David Cameron, the, the Prime Minister, to basically uh, do what he promised to do, was to enact reforms to what's going on in the EU, EU right now in terms of immigration and trade, stuff that, he's, that, that the Leave camp believes hurts the sovereignty of the British people, and that's why they wanted to uh, leave the, the European Union. So we'll know in a few hours exactly where this comes out. Like I said, this, this battle probably won't be over for, for, for a number of years. Uh, David Cameron, it's, it's unclear if he's going to survive this, even if uh, the Remain forces win, uh, because remember, he sided up with a lot of people in labor, and a, lot of the, and a lot of people in the conservative side really believe that the UK sovereignty is being hijacked by the Euro European Union, and they get less than what they put in. So that's where we are right now. So this debate is not going away over here, even with the Remain vote, but temporarily it will, and I think the market Markets will react to that tomorrow. Listen, I think you might see it sell off in the U.S. market just because to take some profits off the table and because people are starting to react to real stuff as opposed to what's going on here. Uh, but if, if for some reason Brexit wins, Britain right. exit wins, tomorrow's going to be a very turbulent day. But based on what we're hearing, that's not the case. All right. Thank you very much, Charlie Gasparino.